Welcome back to another video. Today is all about food and I'm showing you a full day of eating. I am 20, as you're watching this, 26 weeks pregnant. So almost at the end of the first, second trimester. And really the goal with this video is just to show you some of the meals that I've been making throughout my pregnancy. I will say, if you have been a fan of the channel for a while, you will notice that things are a little different in my diet. I haven't really shared a lot about that, but I will in next week's video. Um, I've changed a lot in my diet. I have reincorporated gluten, I've reincorporated dairy, and I have also reincorporated animal proteins. So um, this channel is a little different <laughs> than it was maybe five or six years ago where it was primarily vegan. I can answer any questions that you have about the diet change in next week's video, so please leave a comment down in the comment box and I'll be sure to add in a little Q&A there. This is a personal choice that I have made for myself and I have the right to do so. So I appreciate um, you kind of keeping your negativity out of here if that is, feel if you're feeling the need to share something like that. There's no point. Um, so yeah, I hope that you find this video inspirational, helpful, and as I said, if you have any questions along the way, please drop them down in the comments. And with that, let's get into it. So I tend to start most days with half or a full protein bar. I'm still a Raw Rev lover, and this is a new flavor for me. So I tried the birthday cake, and it's delicious. I'll link it down below. And it was really, really cold this morning, so I spent some of the morning doing tricks and hiding treats for Trevi to get her mind going and just keep her engaged um, because it was too cold to go for a walk. So that's what we did. Post mind games with Trevi, it was coffee time. And I've been making collagen coffee, so I just have a cup of coffee. I add in some grass-fed collagen from Garden of Life. Again, I'll link that below too. And I add in some liquid stevia and some uh, almond milk creamer and maybe some coconut creamer. I think that's what I'm using currently. Whisk it up because I don't have one of those electric mixers with me. And that is my coffee for the day. I have one cup of coffee. For breakfast this morning, I decided to do a yogurt bowl, yogurt protein bowl. So I had about a cup of Siggy's yogurt, which I have been really liking. I add in a little bit of plant-based protein, stir it around. You could also do some collagen if you wanted. And then I like to add fresh fruit. Today I'm doing blueberries as well as some mixed seeds. I like really try to get in a mix of healthy fats. So I did chia seeds and hemp seeds. And then I topped it with some purely Elizabeth granola. And all in all, this was a really great way to start the day. High in protein, filling, lots of healthy fats and some antioxidants from the berries. Once snack time rolled around, I have been devouring sumo citrus all of my pregnancy so far. So it was a sumo citrus for me. I try to get in some vitamin C during the day. So sumo citrus and oranges and things like that are a great option and they're also just a really delicious snack. Lunch was a tuna melt. So I toasted two slices of sourdough and I wanted to add in some greens or vegetables. So I bought a bag of shredded Brussels sprouts from Whole Foods and I just steamed it with a little bit of salt in my pan. So I know that tuna is not generally recommended in pregnancy, but actually if you end up getting skipjack tuna, it is a low mercury fish and that one is fine. So I eat tuna like maybe every other week um, and I get a wild caught skipjack to make sure that it's low mercury. I'll link the exact one that I like to get below and I mix it with my vegetables, some mayo, salt, and that is my tuna salad. Then I put it on top of my toast and I top it with some cheese. I had some Cabot cheddar, extra sharp cheddar, and pop it back in the toaster oven until the cheddar is melted. And then I finish it off with this amazing crunchy chili onion thing from Trader Joe's. It is seriously so good on everything. So I put that on top of the sandwich and that's lunch. Kirby's barking in the background. Mm. Oh my god, 
so good. Mm. One of my favorite lunches while I'm pregnant. So good. All right, we're making a simple and healthy dinner. We're making um, veggie, hidden veggie chicken nuggets and we're having mac and cheese and salad on the side. So it's basically a kid's meal, maybe slightly elevated, but I've been loving mac and cheese during pregnancy and um, we're excited to try these chicken nuggets. So let me show you how we're gonna make everything. So here is the macaroni and cheese that I'm eating. It's the grass-fed Annie's macaroni. Delicious, grew up on Annie's, it's my favorite brand. For the chicken nuggets, we're doing a pound of organic chicken and then adding in some grated carrots as well as some finely chopped up steamed broccoli, an egg, salt and pepper, mix it all together, coat it in panko, so kind of shape it and then coat it in panko. Pop them in a 400 degree oven for like 20-ish minutes, flipping halfway through. And that is your chicken nugget recipe. I will link the one that I followed below. We made a few tweaks, but it was very good. And we had lots of extras, which I loved. We ended up not making a salad because we were feeling lazy. So brown dinner for me, but it was seriously delicious. And again, I'm trying to get in lots of protein. So the chicken nuggets were great and I highly recommend. And then I finished the night with some sweets. I love Cocomels. They're like my favorite thing ever. I buy a six pack on Amazon because I go through them so quickly and it's just the perfect way to end of the day. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.